Hi, welcome friends. Thanks for joining me at Stamping Tips with Nancy. Today I'm going to show you how to make this cute little gift bag that I designed. I thought it was really great for gift cards, like this one. Or it also holds two little Ghirardelli chocolate squares. And even better might be to have a Ghirardelli chocolate square and a gift card. So, this is really easy to make. So let's go ahead and get started. I'm going to be using a piece of the designer paper series paper from Stamping Up called Sending Love Speciality. And long after Valentine's Day is over, this still remains a beautiful um, double-sided designer paper. And if you haven't noticed, uh, this particular de designer series pack has half of the pages are glittery and on the back side is just a beautiful other design. So I think I'm going to actually use the uh, same design that I did with the sparkly on this side. So what I've done is I've taken a piece of designer paper and it measures <clears throat> three and a half inches by six inches long and then I've actually already pre-scored it and I scored it at five eighths inches all the way down and also then I flipped it and did it on the other side and then <clears throat> I turned the paper and scored it then again at two and one sixteenth inches and three and five sixteenth inches and then all you need to do is you need to take your paper snips and you can fold on the score lines actually that might be helpful and then all you're going to do is you're going to snip on that 2 in 11 16th inch score and the 3 and 5 16th inch score line on both sides and because my um, treats in my gift bag were not very heavy I found that snail worked just fine. If you were going to be using something heavier, um, you might want to consider using the double-sided sticky tape. So I'm just folding on my score lines now, creating my gift bag, and I just thought this was the cutest thing. I was sitting staring at the Ghirardelli chocolate and thought, oh, wouldn't that be cute in a gift bag? And so this is where that, that inspiration came from. Okay, then all you need to do is to adhere the tabs with your snail adhesive and then you might actually want to adhere one of the two flaps so maybe these two here or these two I don't know that you need to do all of them that might that's too much and then fold up the sides and then adhere the tabs down and then the other side And, sorry. Then the only other thing you need is a piece of the natural hemp, and I just then needed to cut it. It's probably about maybe four inches, four and a quarter inches, and I'm going to cut two of those pieces. I can always trim it down when I'm before I. Actually, adhere it if I find that it's just really too long. And then I found if you just use some mini glue dots like these from Stamping Up, and you just take the end of the hemp and put a glue dot on it on each side, and then just adhere it to the inside. Now you're going to put two handles and so you want to probably adhere it um, on one side and then you can put the other handle then on the other side. Okay, and there I have my cute little gift bag. Um, 
Wouldn't that be cute to invite a friend on a shopping trip or for a birthday gift, put the gift card and a piece of chocolate in? I think it's just adorable. I hope you like it too. Uh, visit me um, at my website at fancynancystampin.com for other tips and tricks, and I hope to see you again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.